again another day another unit me and ann are out here it's a rainy day but luckily right this moment it is not raining but that's probably not gonna last who knows maybe we'll get lucky maybe we'll just we're in a clear spot right now and it'll hold off but um before we get started on this make sure you go and check out my instagram page and my facebook page the links are down below they're both red dirt resale just started posting on those really regularly trying to build up the build up my um, followers on there so instagram facebook check it out some of the same stuff's on there but there's a lot of stuff that's not in the youtube videos that um ends up on those channels now this unit here this is a huge unit it is a 10 by 35 massive unit really tall this is one like that is intended like for a contractor to put equipment and all that stuff in it's not full by any means but it's still a lot of stuff i'm pretty i feel like it's a lot of stuff anyways i paid 1320 for this unit so after buyer's buyer's premium we are right at 1500 bucks stuff's going expensive right now this has a lot of boxes in it we needed boxes really really bad we needed stuff for the auction we've been getting a lot of furniture the last couple weeks but not a lot of boxes so we were kind of short on small stuff all right now we get this watch this man don't run into this we got this slimy string hanging down from the door here push it up a little bit okay it doesn't a lot of doors would just go flying up here but that one doesn't all right there's a lot of boxes hopefully we're gonna find some good stuff in here some good stuff for the auction but i know one thing that i could see when i was bidding was that huge container right there look looks like it's full of legos and other than that you know just a lot of little boxes there is some furniture like this i wasn't really sure what this was is it something a desk i'm still not sure what it is even here looking at what we'll to move that stuff off and see some kind of weird table i don't know exactly we got a little blue mold soldier obviously it's not christmas time but that's still cool look at this guy right here little wooden kind of monk looking guy priest i don't know there is a this is a nice little baby bin west clocks and this is the real deal mechanical what else we got just sitting right here a couple vases these are heavy kind of like a stone material almost like soapstone maybe i don't know all right if we come over this way personal pictures so we don't want to look at that you need some sleepy tea sleepy tea there is a little bit of tea in there but various tea but lots of little boxes all right so like i said the unit's 35 foot so right here we're about at the 30 foot mark so there's about 30 foot of boxes down this side here a lot of boxes i mean look at all these things so hopefully there's some good stuff in them if it's anything at least just basic sellable stuff then we'll be good on the volume now if it's a lot of trash that's another story i think there's like a wardrobe like disassembled back here look we got doors there's a door with a mirror and that looks like a back we got all these pieces that looks like a bottom and this looks like all the other pieces look at these i don't know if that's part of the wardrobe or something else some kind of huge like ornate legs we got some quilts here a whole stack of quilts and even though even the ones that are ragged as long as they are the old um hand stitch ones which these are then they usually do pretty good in the auction so a nice looking fishing pole shakespeare now i think this is a harley shirt i see the harley symbol there sleeveless harley rules what does this say back here stone mountain harley davison stone mountain georgia and then we have another one here oh this is a stone mountain one also oh look we get the cheese head i don't know if they were green bay packers fans or they just had the cheese head but we're about to start digging in we're going to oh look star war star war t we're going to um go through a couple boxes here but most of this we're going to take back to the um store and go through because it's gotten so late in the day it's i think it's like what time is it four. it's four o'clock in the afternoon now so we just don't have time to sit here and go through or else it'll literally get dark on us but so we're just going to go through a few and get this loaded up and get it back to the store look at all this i just know mccoy 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 i think it's going to be a good unit structo excavator i think this is a, a vintage metal toy which is like one of those it's like a oh, big crane i've yeah. seen those before and then let's let's look at this one that says star wars that says shell boys i don't know what that that would be so is this star wars stuff or or what 
Here, let's move it up that way a little bit because oh, it's kind of dark back here. Bring it right up here. Kitchen, three tier, strainer, green bowls. Right. It looks like clothes, but oh, it's Star Wars. Clothes. Star Wars clothes, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but it is Star Wars shirts. We could probably put these in the auction. Yeah. It's all like boy size, but yeah. um, no, that's this that's is like adult, adult size right yeah. there. Yeah. This one's kind of cool. It's got um Anakin on it. Young Anakin. I don't know if that's adult size. It's just pretty big. It looks. Uh, size large. That's probably a kid's large. It's just yeah, made so. big. Yeah. But that's a cool shirt there. Mm -hmm. So those are all Star Wars. So not toys like like I thought for a second, but still good. But all these are toys. Let's here. I'm gonna look in these real quick and we'll see what we got. Okay. Elementary school um, yearbook there. This looks like is it maybe seashells or something? So this is kind of just not much going on here. There's a kite, shell, there's a Georgia Tech bag. This looks like it's all cars. Ooh, can you grab that side in? And we'll flip, yeah, down. let's just set it down on that other container. I think this, I think, I think it's all Hot Wheels. You know, Hot Wheels, we got some monster trucks in here. So it all kinds of Hot Wheels, Matchbox cars. Oh, there's a Transformer. It's a, and it's a real one. We got little NASCAR trailers there. So that'll definitely sell. There's a Grave Digger. Hot Wheels always sell. All right, we're going to hit the rest of these real quick, but just kind of without looking in them, look here. Antique mixer and bowls. Two pottery bowls. Legos Deville. I don't know if that's Douglasville or what. Um, curtains. Finials trying to give you jingle bells sewing goodies got some stuffed animals in there but this one looks like a oh we got a little vintage look at this guy that's cool right there fisher price he's like a weeble wobble kind of deal all right next next box of toys here what do we got in oh set this down on the on the ground there so we can see better Oh, and look what we have here. This is a goodie box for real. We got a sewing box. Yeah. Nice. nice vintage sewing box. I mean, it's got paint or something. Okay, whatever that is, it's coming right off. Oh, look, we even got like some vintage sewing accessories. Yeah. Look at these needles right here. Sewing Susan. That's cool. <laughs> Lots of little accessories in there. All right, we got an old pair of bowling shoes. An old Brunswick bowling shoes, okay? But look down in here. We got a Tonka roller. We got the metal. Oh, this is really cool. On the metal fire truck here. Cell machine unit. Did it have a button or something to press? I bet it did. Oh, right here. It's got a little battery compartment there, but it is metal. Nylant water cannon, cell machine. And we got another, look at this bad boy right here. Metal fire truck. SFD pumper. An older model. Yeah, this is the older. <laughs> Ann says this is an older model. Ann said she rode on one just like this when she was a kid. Right. Not really, no. <laughs> no, I rode on it. Well, <laughs> All right, and then this is cool right here. Look, Tonka roller. It's a steam roller. Look at that. That's kind of unusual. You see like the bulldozers and stuff, but that's a. It's an old metal Tonka steam roller. That is cool. And then we got that stuff probably all just fell out of there at some point. This is actually a Lego sword of some sort. Back scratcher. Oh, I bet this ladder right here goes with that. Looks like it does. There's a helicopter propeller. All right, so that's a good box right there. Let's look in the next one. What is this? Is this a toy? It was. It's a Lego container, but it's empty. So the next box here. Oh man, look at this. It's a big Tonka. I'm not going to pull all this out because it's kind of a lot of stuff in here. It's mostly like Hot Wheels stuff around here, it looks like. But look at this big metal Tonka. It's mostly metal. There is some, like, that's plastic, I think. Yeah, that's plastic. Tonka cement mixer, cement truck. Then we got another. This is kind of physical, too. A little K2 
cat bulldozer, but this is the, the good piece right there. We're, we're still going down it. There's two more containers here in this stack. What do we have here? Let's see. Little Ace hardware. Oh, look at this. This is um, Playmobil. That's all Playmobil stuff. So this stuff, there's a lot of um, retro and vintage and a few pretty old looking pieces mixed in with all this stuff. Arian Rescue. There's another Tonka vehicle. There's a helicopter. That's probably where that propeller goes. Here's a Tonka. I don't know if the, uh, something's broken off of it. It was like some kind of little backhoe or something. But lots of little pieces here. That's Playmobil. I think that's Playmobil. I believe that. There's a lot of this right in here. It is Playmobil toys. All right, let's go down one more. The last one looks like it's going to be all Legos. When you look from the side, that's all you can see down the one side is Legos. Some dirty old containers. That's for sure. But oh my gosh. Now this is a lot of Legos. This is this is a huge container. This is a um what size are these? 106 quart container and it's just jam full of Legos. We do have a little Aladdin genie thumb in there but look at all that. And it weighs Oh my god. I mean it weighs a lot. This one does. Those aren't that heavy, but this yeah. one's really heavy. What is this? Um clothing, okay. College college house. All right, so what the t-shirts and stuff. All right, so based off of the little bit we've seen so far, I think this is definitely going to be a good unit. All right, let's open up one of these McCoy boxes. Like I said, we're just going to open up a couple more. And then me and Ann, we got to get busy getting all this loaded up. She's already getting busy as I'm showing this stuff. Of course, Ann is not going to just sit there and wait and not be productive. So let's see, is this all going to be McCoy? That says, what is that, Hager? It's a McCoy-like piece, same style and everything. That's cool. 1905 USA. This is a McCoy piece, and this is very nice. Little flower pot there. It's got a nice design on it. McCoy USA. See right there? Great auction items. What is this? These are lids for something. Some kind of cookie jar, maybe? Oh, wow. Hold on. What do we got down here? It's like a train or something. Oh. That other piece. Okay, this is... They got a cookie. This is McCoy. Cookie special. I mean, it, some of the paint is kind of wearing off. That's the top on that. Okay, and then I'm thinking that this is going to go with it. You would set this together. It looks like the, the train engine. Yep. It's a cookie train. Look at that. It's McCoy. This is awesome. Mm -hmm. And we got the top right there. There we go. But nice. on the McCoy train and um, caboose, I guess. Yeah. That this is supposed to be a caboose or just the train car that goes with it. Let's just, while we got this one box open, let's look at it all. Because we, we won't be able to yeah. go through all those. So we'll just look through this whole one. We will show this stuff later on, though. This is another McCoy piece, McCoy USA. Some kind of, I don't know exactly what this is for, but it's hollow around here and then there's a bird in the middle. I don't know what the intent is. There's a piece that goes with it, let's see. This is cool. This is a McCoy. Does that go with that somehow? I don't guess so. It's like a little, um, I guess you hang it up. It looks like a little cuckoo clock. Yeah. One more piece. Right here. And 
And this one, okay, this one's not marked. I mean, it's kind of McCoy style. Yeah. But it's still cool, vintage little. It's got a hole there. You could hang this on the wall and put stuff in it. But there's how many more boxes that say McCoy on them? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's eight more boxes right here that all say McCoy. So as you can tell from here, it was mostly McCoy pieces. So, mm -hmm. and these were not just you know plain basic little bowl. There's some like that. That cookie train was pretty cool. Yeah, that is very. Cool. I've never seen the cookie train. I know they have a lot of pieces. If you go and look it up, there's a lot of different McCoy pieces, but I've never yeah, seen the so cookie train. You can see yeah, it on the inside. Uh, yeah, that's fun. Yeah, there's going to be a couple of these that'll have a little crack, but that's still sellable even with the crack. People will still buy it. All right, so. I think that's going to be it for right now. Oh, look at this. I didn't even see this when we went by. This is pretty cool. It's a... Here, hold on. Let me give this back to Ian. I'm just carrying around this piece. Oh, that was on that side. On this side? Yeah, somehow. Some, okay. Here, maybe that goes there. There we go. Oh, that nice. goes there, and that was on the top. But this old... Um, this milk crate, this is really cool. Trays. Some nice little trays. But this is a heavy... It's a Borden's Jackson, Mississippi milk crate. Erie crate. That's pretty cool. So this thing from the from the little bit we've seen so far, this thing's gonna be loaded down. This will definitely finish off our auction this week and hopefully hopefully give us um, a good batch, if not fill the whole auction next week. But we got a long ways to go. That was just the one stack of boxes and one box from there. So no telling what we're gonna find in this one. Lots of goodies for sure. All right, the sun has set. The truck has a big old load of, load of boxes on it. Look how big this unit is. This thing is massive. Me and Ann, we were about to put some walls up in here. So we, it's even so high we could put a loft up and put a two-story house in here for Ann to live in. She's sweeping it up now. But we're all done. There's gonna be some cool stuff. A lot of a lot of cool vintage stuff in here um, that we'll be able to find and stuff when we start unboxing. We saw some stuff, a few of the boxes that were open on the top, like the containers where we could flip it open. But um, many, many, many boxes are were all taped up and and we just throw them on the truck. But even some of that, some of the descriptions had vintage this or just interesting sounding stuff. Whoa! What was that? Okay, something just, and the unit beside us, something just decided to fall over there. Oh my gosh, it scared me. You know what's saying? It looks like there's light coming from over there. Oh, I, guess, I think when you turn this on, it may turn it on. Oh, it turned that on too? Yeah. Uh, no. Like light over there. Oh, maybe it does, okay. Oh, and yeah, luckily there was a light in here. So here as it got dark, we were able to see a little bit. We're almost done. We just got to scoop this up right here. Head on back. So just wait until we start unboxing this stuff. going to be fun. We got all that unit back here at the store and we've got it all unloaded. Massive mountain of boxes here. We took it, we got some of the McCoy stuff out and other pottery that was mixed in with it. If you look on this table right here, look at all this stuff. Probably 80% of this is McCoy and then a few just kind of um, ovenware pieces and stuff like that, hall pottery. But as you can see, like this squirrel here, that's McCoy. That's a nice piece right there, which is McCoy. These two little birds. So all kinds of flower pots, bowls. Look at this right here. It's a turtle, um, like water pitcher, watering pitcher. Water goes in right there. See the spout on its mouth. It's got a little chip on the mouth there. McCoy USA. We got the little clown cookie jar here. It's got the circus animals on it and the clown head on the top. Duck, dog, those are both McCoy. We've got um, the McCoy marked NM for Nelson McCoy. You can see all the bowls and flower pots on all the pottery here. But there's more of it. The train that we opened up earlier, we haven't even, um, it got mixed in with all the other boxes. We haven't even seen it. There was actually another cookie jar. Leah already claimed it. It was a little cat, it was McCoy and it was a little cat cookie jar. 
but there's actually more when i was unloading all the boxes i saw a couple other that said mccoy on them and then i saw some that just said pottery so there may be pieces mixed in or other brands of um, pottery other names but lots of it here lots more to come but we're about to start opening up them boxes back there oh also and open up this box that had these fans in it Look at this one right here this is um she's already wrote all the information on it pre-1950s westinghouse fan this one works on the vintage fan then we had this one works also what is this superior is that what it says yeah so this superior. is a superior that's the brand on it it works then she also these two were in the same box these are two vintage ones neither one of these worked so i don't know if the motor's bad the cord's bad what it is but we'll still sell them like it is and somebody can look at them. And then, not everything's going to be all great and everything like any of it. This is just, um, looks like pictures. pictures. Like old, old picture frames. I mean, that's a nice frame, but but there is going to be a lot more good stuff. Because some of the, most of the stuff we didn't even look in at all if it was taped up. But some of the containers or the boxes that were, like, not taped over, we kind of flipped them open and just kind of looked as we were loading but we weren't going through it all because we were trying to get it loaded quick but there's many 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 boxes that are still all taped up never been opened but some of the stuff we saw there was there's you know lots more good stuff to come that's for sure but as you can see it is a mountain of boxes all the way as high as that. some of them are higher than reach some of them i was i was kind of just they were light you know felt like clothes or pillows you know it's kind of just throwing up there and it goes all the way back there and it's not blocking this i know one day somebody complained in one of the videos but there's space you can come over and access all the valves and everything but anyways let's dig in kitchen what v kitchen oh you don't all right Anne's opening up the vintage kitchen box what we're gonna find here come on hurry up man i can't wait come on I'm i can't wait any longer you want to see? show us what you got show us what i got oh a sifter vintage sifter very that one's cool look at the, the little yeah. wooden knob on the handle there very vintage all right paper for people this weekend i'll open something Oh, it's a it's a concrete I guess chicken it's supposed to be a chicken yeah full concrete chicken that's cool all right that's not really vintage yeah. it's kind of more modern looking in there but uh -huh. but, top I for mean, something not for this bowl no but there is another one down glass bowl yeah right there yeah it is oven proof um yeah i think we've got something oh uni universal pottery yeah we've oven got proof so I I all right so another piece of pottery a couple glass bowls and, that's all, folks. and the non-vintage piece in the vintage box there you go. all right sav vac SAV Kitchen. SAV stands for Savannah. We're pretty sure that's a name of somebody and not the, the city Savannah. From what we could tell. This is just kitchen stuff. But let's see, we have some vintage items here. Not an ashtray. <laughs> Hoffman Industries. But back then they had to put not an ashtray on the bottom. So all kinds of like this, you call this melamine stuff. Texas wear, Texas wear. Or Melmac, Sun Valley Melmac. I think that's where um, Alf was from, from the planet Melmac. Where they ate cats. Here's a salad bowl. It's not. A, it's not an ashtray either. It's a salad bowl. Right, 
what is wrapped up in here. Oh, we got a pitcher. Nice glass pitcher. Keep on looking here. Oh, got a piece of pottery here. It's got clothes pins. What is this? Some kind of little mouse decoration. We look at the bottom here. It's got a two and an eight. It's like a little shield symbol with an eight in it. <coughs> Excuse me. Boon ton wear. Boon ton wear. Four of these. The Sun Valley. Oh, that's what those are. All right, one more thing wrapped up here. All right, another glass pitcher. We got a rolling pin, some knives down in there, and a few more of these boon ton wear bowls there. And this goes on one of these. I don't know which one. Well. Or maybe not. Okay, I guess it goes on one of those. Alright, this one says miscellaneous kitchen plastic. So, is it going to be just kind of regular stuff? Or is there vintage stuff mixed in with here? Or we're about to find out. Of those. All right. Well, this is cool. Here's a. Is that a Tupperware brand? I think it is. Ooh. Plastic. Yeah, Tupperware brand measuring cup. What is this? Here is a McCoy. It's just like a little. I don't know if you could say that's a hot plate or, um, yeah, trivet. I guess you say trivet. You know, you can put something on, or if you get something hot out, you can set it on that so it's not right on your counter. Then we've got a couple of old strainers here. And I don't see any markings right off the hand, right off the bat. But with it being yellow, they might just be hard to see. And, okay, a couple of these little funky little ice trays here. And then an old wooden bowl here. So, every box is kind of giving off, you know, cool, unique stuff. Pretty much every one of them. Even one as simple as miscellaneous kitchen plastic. Alright, we got another kitchen, more pottery. It says kitchen pottery. Let's see what we got here. That's cool. It's kind of, I don't know, milk glass looking with the, kind of looks like a popcorn bucket a little bit. This one is a Bauer Atlanta USA. And the bowl there. There's another bowl. This is cool. This is a Fire King bowl. Got the little potted flowers there on the side of it. And a couple more pieces here. Chinago. China platter. And yep, another platter there. Alright, here is the typewriter. It says Sears, it's a Sears, well, I guess it's a typewriter. That's what I'm assuming. Push tab up to release machine. Oh, there we go. All right, cool, yeah, it's a Sears Celebrity typewriter. Looks like it's in pretty good shape too. Nice and clean. Still got paper in it. Looks like they were in the middle of typing something. I know it's obviously, well, 
there's probably still some people out there using them because I know a lot of people now like they like to find vintage stuff like this and they like to use it and then it kind of you know to give it a certain look but um obviously most people aren't using these now but there's a lot of people that like to put these on display like in an office and stuff like that especially you know people that write that kind of thing all right let's grab another box here good china that's what it says on the top anyways we'll see what we got here all right the good china box i don't know if this is china oh it's a, we got a flower pot here. There's rubber bands stuck all over it. It's melted to it. And then a bunch of little post-it notes, all that kind of stuff. I'll have to look in there. And then below it, here's another piece of pottery full of, looks like spaghetti, but it's rubber bands. And it looks like another piece. So it's not china at all. It's all just, you know, pottery. That one's not marked. And like some old clothes is what it looks like all right sorting through the boxes there's all the cars a lot of this stuff we already showed but i'm going to show it real quick kind of out of the box um tonka stuff caterpillar here's all these trucks transformers oh this truck we did, found in a different box it's a little um structo truck and it actually there it goes it actually dumps there i know i showed that here's all the play mobile stuff that um was in that box that opened up seashells and driftwood this enamel pot right here it's got this rust on it but it's still a cool piece of decor and now i'm opening up some more boxes i'm just kind of bring in a few because I'm trying to fill up this last little section here so I'm bringing them out here this one actually says it's another one that says McCoy kitchen shelves let's see what we got and yes that is all Reese's over there that's from the pallet auction all right, we got some stuff wrapped up here. Um, is that, I guess that is, yeah, that's a McCoy. It's just really, it's just kind of a faint marking on it. So it's a nice piece right there on the McCoy pottery. That'll go here in the auction. Let's see what we got here. Another McCoy piece. It does have some cracking in it, but it's all intact as of right now. I wonder if these are all going to be flower, full flower pieces like that. This feels similar. Yep, and it's a McCoy piece. Must have been a shelf, like it says, kitchen shelves. They must have had all these on a one shelf in the kitchen. This feels like it's another one of those, probably. Yep, another McCoy flower piece. I think there's one more thing in here, but this is not... Oh, this is not going to be a flower, I don't think. Just a um, piece of pottery, like a flower pot there. So the pottery keeps on coming. I would not uh, mm -hmm. use anything. All right, some cool old jars here. There's a Wright's Silver Cream jar. Here's a Osterizer Liquifier Blender little container. It's an Oster. It says Oster right there on the side, and then it's got little measurements on there. And we get the atlas easy seal jar here and then this one's pretty cool it's a cur jar but um mason jar but it's got the glass top on it and then ann's over here <laughs> she's 
she was just saying how she hates this. It's so crazy how people do this in storage. They put their um, their canisters in, the sugar canister, with the sugar. So she she dumped it out, but see all that? It's just kind of caked the on. There's the flour. Too. See, it's like hard as a brick. Now it cr crumbles up, but it's like yeah. it gets moisture in it and stuff. And this then, the okay, they actually put stuff <laughs> in this one. We got little wine stoppers. What is this guy here? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a salt and pepper shaker here. Look at these. Oh, a little salt are, and pepper. Oh, those are cute. I guess you, yeah, you unscrew the head there. They're wooden. That's cool. What is that? Is that a knife sharpener? I think it is, yeah. It's a Foley, yeah, knife sharpener. But it looks like straight out of the 50s. Look at that thing. Mm -hmm. Little glass giraffe head. all kinds head. of little stuff in here. Anything below that? Yeah. Something wrapped up in there. No, yeah, little wooden oh, thing. And a button. What's the button say? Gwinnett, Gwinnett County. County. Okay. 2003. But the canisters themselves are pretty neat. They're pink, and then they got the chrome top. And then they say, like, right, right there on their T. So, and then look at this. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Little cookie jar. Cookie, biscotti, cookie, kook, kex. I don't know. I'm probably saying some of those wrong. Other languages. Cookie. Got to mark them, but I don't know. Uh, something I can't make it out. It's too scratched up at the moment. Mhm. Mm but we are digging away. There is lots of good stuff, but there is lots of trash too. Just like pretty, almost every unit, you can deal with the trash. All the just paperwork and um, like old picture frames with their personal pictures, but like that right there, the frames all rusted and whatever. So good and bad like always but there is plenty of good this is pretty cool right here it's a fire screen it's a small fire screen brass i didn't even notice the dragons on the top there at first all right we got another vintage kitchen so far those have been pretty good boxes a lot of small boxes so there's not a huge amount of stuff in each box makes it easier to load and we do have some vintage let's see pink that looks pink oh look at this nut chopper this is cool that is a cool looking nut chopper what else we got here oh another shoe and it's the same it's the boy version of that so i can see this one it says just says fine quality japan so probably not really all that fine quality what is in the dirty old sock oh it's one of those um one of those yeah or like for a baby this little snot sucker okay yeah you never seen that you're like I've seen one, but suck this. Oh well, yeah, probably not that big, but that's for a, a bigger babies, I guess. I don't know. USA number forty. A little picture there. I'm trying to get all. There's all kinds of little stuff around, and then there's some big stuff in the middle. Ooh. All right, we got one of these classic American vodka little cans. A little set of spoons here. I don't remember what these little spoons. Somebody would probably tell me. I don't know. Is it like a little, like you serve it with coffee or something to mix, mix stuff? I'm not sure. There's a lid for something. All right. Can I get the big thing out? Let's see. We're not breaking anything else. Okay, I think. Oop. A little bowl there. Oh, this is a piece of Pyrex. Ooh, we got the pink Pyrex there. And then, okay, that's the bigger version of that small bowl with the flowers on it. But look, we got the pink Pyrex and the pink nut chopper, kind of pink. There you go. Oh, and and okay, we, we found this box that has all these cheese graters that they've made into lights. And just found the box. No, this is a different one. No, that's the one. 
Oh, it is? I think it is. No, maybe, no, that's a different one. Yeah, there's another box that has more. But it's a pretty simple but ingenious idea. You just take one of these cords with the bulb on it, put a wood block in there the size of the bottom of the cheese grater, and put it up in there, and you get you a little lamp, and the, the light shines through the holes there. What is that? It's an old lunch box. That's cool. Oh my gosh, it's kind of it's in really rough shape though. That stinks because it had the thermos, but look how rusty the thermos I is. I mean, it's just completely rusted. Mm -hmm. um, it's up. It's upside down. Upside down. Um, non rust aluminum non no non rust well, that's um yeah they're they're not living they're not living up to their name that's for yeah. sure yeah. that's funny non rust and the thing's rusted to pieces oh that's cool this is cool this you know is, what it is yeah it's it's aluminum green tin and aluminum this is like Oh, as far as what it what it is it's a nice yeah. bucket oh there you go but it's that retro colored aluminum Mm -hmm. Old kitchen. I don't know what that is exactly, but I think it's perfect. All right, we got the mystery box here. It's heavy. It's probably books, but there's no writing. But it feels like books, and yeah, it's books. Memory or like for photo albums. Like, it's like a scrapbook right there, and then gardening books. I like gardening books. All right, more vintage Pyrex. That's cool, I guess that's snowflakes on the side. Little pink picture here. Here's the insert for one of those old aluminum ice trays. Let's see what else we're gonna find in here. Wrapped in all this fuzz. Another vintage um, pink piece of glassware. Here is the lid. You know what? I think this is the lid for that pink piece of Pyrex I found a few boxes ago. Another pink piece of glass. What's down here? Another piece of Pyrex. Look at that. They only paid $3.13 at some point at Goodwill. It's got the lid and everything. So several pieces of Pyrex. is all different colors and designs. I just put all these wooden these are pretty cool they're like made out of pieces of wood almost like driftwood looking santa ornaments and look at this old santa right here and look he's got the pipe cleaner arm so you can adjust Let's see what else is in this box this is the box that came out of here if there's anything else good in here here's another i need to add that to the wooden santas Oh, there's another wooden Santa. There's several more in here. Scooby-Doo stocking. That's pretty cool. More wooden Santas. They're all different shapes and sizes. Some of them are kind of rough. This one's like almost round. Like a round little log up. I think there's another old Santa in here. Let's see. We got some sock, sock snowmen. Yep, here's another old Santa here. He's in, he's in a little bit rough shape, but that's pretty cool there. Look at that face. <laughs> what else we have? Some kind of Hallmark ornament. Ooh, Star Trek Voyager Delta Flyer. I'll have to make check and see if it's in there. It feels like it is in there, but I'll have to check and make sure. Other than that, some standard stuff. Some ribbons, some stockings. A wooden snowman. Hooks. Okay. All right, HWG. I don't know what that stands for, but a couple of the boxes that said HWG that were open that we could kind of just fl flip in there and see had like boys' toys, and that's what it looks like. Oh, comic books. I think there's a good many comic books down in there. Let's check. Let's see what's on the top here first. This looks like a Dick Tracy toy. Um, let's see, Disney Playmates. I think that is um, Dick Tracy, because Disney came out with the Dick Tracy movie back in like the early 90s. Um, let's see, what is this? We got a grenade. 
dummy grenade. <laughs> Making sure there. What are the little stuff we got here? That looks like Goku. Yeah, we got some Dragon Ball Z toys in here. Yep, that's Dragon Ball Z. I don't know what. I don't know exactly what these are. Kind of like big Legos. A knife. Let's see what this says. What does that say? Oh, it's a buck knife. Okay. Okay, it's got little tools on it. It's a buck 303. I think it's broke, yeah. I mean, that's fine, but there's another... This blade right here is broken off. Harry. Okay, so HWG missing for Harry... Harry something. I don't know what the rest of them are, but it's Harry something. Okay, let's move along from this box. This little container here. Let's see what we got. All right, Lords of Dogtown behind the scenes. And then we go into a little stack of comics here. All right, the new Titans. We got X-Men. A long time ago in a galaxy far forward, there's a Star Wars Dark Empire number three. X-Men. Looks like a lot of X-Men. And some of these that's kind of a rough shape. Captain America. I don't you know, right off the top of right off the bat, don't see anything that looks like it'd be anything too special. None of these right here look like they're you know, old ones. The goon. I don't know what that is. Never heard of that. Here's one in a case. It's got a $2.50 price tag on it. Toy Fair. There's another one in a case. Oh, no, it's a sleeve, but it's nothing there. Okay. So not much going on in that. Here's an old, look at this, Popeye book and recording. Does it have the record in it? Nope, it does not. Bubble Mania. The Chewy History of Bubblegum. Like a child. Oh, we got Charlie Brown. We got Garfield. A couple Garfield books. Garfield in Disguise. Garfield Treasury. Wiener Dog Art. A Far Side collection of the comic strip. A Far Side. Oh, down in here, there's some kind of game. There's a Dragon Ball <coughs> book, volume 16. All right, here we got a whole nother stack of comics. Well, there's other stuff too. There's comics. Maybe some magazines or something down there. King Kong. It's from 19, 1990. Star Wars Devil Worlds. Bobo Fett. I want you to join cops. That's from 1989. So not anything real old, but we're going back to the 80s now. Then we got some gaming books. Gamer books, whatever you want to call them. Tore up comic book, Game Informer and all that stuff. Alright, let's see what else we got going here. Here's another Garfield book. Garfield Goes Bananas. All right, more comics, but let's see what this is right here. Great Heroes Collector Case, the perfect case for most action figures, including Superman, Spider-Man, Captain America. Okay, we got a few of those Lego type figures in here. There's a Pac-Man sticker, look at that. Some miscellaneous pieces. Yeah, those are about like G.I. Joe size. All right, what else we got here? We got some comics kind of falling over sideways. Is this, all, is this gonna be all comics or what do we got here? Let's see. It's 
So comics. And I'm still, I mean, not seeing nothing real old or anything. Right here. Star Wars Vader's Quest. <clears throat> Marvel X Factor 1987. These are the one of those cops. 1989, there's another one there. And then we're gonna have, ooh, let's see what this is. <laughs> okay, we got, are these coloring books or what? Let's see, Garfield, or just a book. Garfield the Easter Bunny. That's, that's cool. Okay, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Magic Crystals, a storybook adventure. That's cool right there. Another Garfield book. Tom and Jerry, the comic type thing up. Oh, we got highlights, wacky puzzles, amazing mazes, weirdos from another. Oh, it's Calvin and Hobbes. Got something stuck to them though. Some more comics down here on the bottom. Okay, and then all that's left is just a couple of. Comics. Mighty Beans. There's a comic here on the bottom, but it got wet. Alright, and that's it for that box. So that's kind of a fun box.